everybody back to the channel and welcome to Japan! I'm here in Kanazawa Station. You might be able to see this is the Suzuki Mon. I think this is Suzuki Mon. The Suzuki Gate, I think. <laughs> We're in Kanazawa Station uh, right now. This is day one of our April 2018 trip to uh, to Japan and we're here in Kanazawa and we're gonna spend the whole day in Kanazawa today. It's been pretty interesting weather so far. There was a thunderstorm, a hail shower. <laughs> Sorry, Liam is here anyway. Hello Liam. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had a thunderstorm, a hail shower. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning now and we finally managed to get out of the hotel room and it doesn't look like it's raining, it looks like it's hold off. Uh, today we were planning on going to the Kenkokuren Garden, Kenkokuren Garden, uh, which is one of Japan's most beautiful gardens. So I'm a little, I, like, I kind of want to see it when it's not pouring down with the rain. But anyway, we're, we're on our way there. We were going to go there first thing in the morning. We're actually not. We're going to pop into a temple called Ninja Dera. I think it's actually got a more official name. We'll, <laughs> we'll tell you when we get over there. Um, which is a temple for ninja? No. It's a celebrating ninja? No, not in the slightest. Is it a temple that just has cool hidden stuff inside it so they call it the ninja temple? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go there first. We're gonna walk over there. It's a 38 minute walk. It's a long one, but we're ready and we're out and about. So we want to have a good walk after our 24 hour journey yesterday. By the way, if you want to see that journey, not all 24 hours of it, uh, link is above, uh, on how we got here from London to Kanazawa in 24 and a half hours. Um, and uh, and yeah, that's it. So come along with us. It's gonna be fun. Fun day out in, in Kanazawa, Ninja Temple, the garden, and maybe a few other things. So yeah, let's go. This is the entrance to the temple. It's pretty crowded right now, about 11 o'clock on a weekend during cherry blossom season, sounds about right. Uh, as with many houses and temples in Japan, uh, there is a no shoes allowed policy. So what you do is you take off your shoes before you step up onto those steps over there. Uh, you put them in the side, over to the left hand side. If you're really worried about your shoes because you've got fancy shoes or something, there are lockers over the other, the other side, uh, but it's very rare for things to be stolen in Japan. And it just doesn't really happen here. So you should feel confident with leaving them over on the left hand side. Oh guys, it's a sad day. Photographs are prohibited. I doubt videos allowed. <laughs> so I will have to tell you all about it when we come back out. Oh, the ninja temple. That was amazing oh my god this temple was absolutely amazing so here's the temple behind us sorry i couldn't take you guys in it was no photographs in there i'm kind of quite glad about that actually because we were able just to sort of really explore without everybody taking so many pictures and people would have taken pictures if it was allowed uh so the temple it's not it's not actually a ninja temple it's got the nickname ninja temple um but the actual temple's name is miruji i think i said that a little bit earlier miruji so that's what the temple is called and it was the prayer spot of the Maeda clan during the sort of shogun feudal times there are hidden doors hidden uh, staircases hidden alleys everywhere it's amazing there's a bunch of places for you to hide if you're being attacked by an enemy and there are loads of hidden rooms for samurai to hide to protect the lord so the lord could be praying inside the temple and there could be samurai behind this like hidden area in the main temple itself there's a room off to the side which is so dark you can't see into it from the bright temple but the people the, the samurai which are hiding inside of the room can see into the temple to make sure they're protecting the lord uh, if you want to come it's a thousand yen to get in and you're supposed to reserve we we were very very lucky we sort of got into the end of the one group that were going in and they let us in um, but if you're going take a look at Japan guide so if you search in, in Google your favorite um, search engine Kanazawa um, Japan guide you should be able to find it there and it will give you some information about what you need to do to reserve I should have done that and I didn't sorry it was amazing I loved it you just Liam was saying just now you wouldn't know from the outside it just looks like a normal sort of temple residence building this doesn't seem anything else <laughs> Liam and I popped into a little cafe which is inside of a temple I don't know how much of it I can take I think we're in a little tea room right now so it's fine um, usually you can't take video or images inside of a temple so I um, want to make sure that we're not getting any of the temple stuff in it. We're sitting on the floor on uh, cushions on tatami mats. 
plans. I, I, I love in Japan, in tea rooms, they do traditional Japanese tea with sweet, so some kind of um, sweet dessert or a little sweet or something. Uh, so I got a tea with um, a sort of a sweet noodly brown sugary thing. I haven't tried it yet, I'm going to try it in a second. And Liam got a brown rice ball uh, with some condiments on it and he actually puts tea over the rice bowl um, and, uh, and with all the condiments as well. My set was a thousand yen and so Liam's set was 800 so it's not too bad a price. Well, this is ice and this is some kind of black sugar syrup. That's gold leaf and that's a noodle. <laughs> Oh, it's good. Yeah. Mm. It's like um, like a jelly consistency, and the black sugar is really like that kind of burnt sugar taste that I really like. Mm, it's really nice. How nobody else has decided to sit on the tatami mat floor. Everybody else is sitting in real chairs. So this was the place that we went, uh, the Hoshoji Cafe. A cute little bunny on the sign over there it was awesome. Hello, hello. There's wild boar in the park. Oh, I want to see one. Get the English map. Yeah. So what's it called again? <laughs> Ken Rokuen Garden. Ken Rokuen Garden. We're in the Ken Rokuen Garden. It's very beautiful already. Uh, check out this giant cherry blossom tree. Look at that. So yeah, this is Ken... 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 Oh, I've forgotten what it's called again. Ken Gokuen. I'm sure it's Ken Gokuen. Ken Rokuen. This is Ken Rokuen Garden. It's very beautiful. Uh, it, this is a very old garden. I think for the Maeda family. Maeda family was kind of big here in Kanazawa. Um, this garden is built uh, using the six sublimities of Chinese perfect garden landscape theory yes i think there was a poet who wrote about what you what the perfect garden needs and this this garden um has all six of those things i'll leave them underneath um it was antiquity and antiquity is the only one i can remember water landscapes something like that uh, this is one of the three most beautiful gardens in japan apparently uh so we are going to have a look around it is much larger than i thought it was going to be much much larger arrived to some of the heavy cherry blossom sections of the park amazing not raining anymore not raining anymore uh, some trees will get people taking loads of pictures around them and getting their selfies for the season um, yeah this one in particular <laughs> very very popular Uchita sand dunes can be seen on the left. Mount Mitsuyama straight ahead and Mount Iozen on the right. Yeah, there are sand dunes in Japan. You can't see them, I think there's trees in the way. They're on the north bank of Japan. North bank? North. What's a bank called when it's on a sea? Shore. Shore. <laughs> <laughs> They're on the North Shore line <laughs> of, of Japan, but uh, further west than um, Kanazawa, much further west, they'll be over there somewhere. And uh, and yeah, these must be the mountains over this side, past these hills I'm guessing, because they don't look big enough to be mountains. I think we perhaps can't see them given the weather today. Liam. Yeah? It's moss. I know. I love moss. Do they come up to us because they think we have food? I feel like we're, it's a bit horrible, mean of us because we're kind of almost promising food but we don't have any. <laughs> Tell us where we are, Liam. We're in the same park. The same park. We just stopped in to get tea and sweet. <laughs> tea and sweet, tea and sweet. Oh look, we've gone inside and it's got nice outside again. Yeah, oh. What? What is the chances? <laughs> it's so nice and warm in here. It's so nice. I died with it. Oh, this is Amazake. Um, stay inside. It's a hot sake sweet 
hammer. It's like the uh, kanji that they use before uh, sake. So it's a sake is a kanji for sake, a kanji for alcohol. And then the one beforehand, ama, which is uh, sweet. So it's sweet sake and it's usually hot. I think you can get it cold as well. Um, but I, um, I really, really like it hot. And Liam got tea and sweet. Uh, so we just call it tea and sweet. I'm sure it's got an actual official name. Um, but it's matcha based tea. And uh, so it's matcha tea and a little sweet that comes along with it, which is amazing. We'll probably share both uh, together. And together, it was 1,100 yen. That's pretty cheap, actually. It's in this amazing place. Um, so it's quite a rattly building. Uh, but you can look out over this lake here. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little room out over there as well. You may be able to sit in there. It's quite cold today, though. Um, so oh, we are tucked up in here where it's nice and warm, which is awesome. It almost looks like a little sugar sandwich. We taste a bit. <laughs> wow, and inside, it's like a fluffy sugar on the outside, it's awesome. So we're done with the uh, garden now, which was amazing, I absolutely loved it. We're about to go into Kanazawa Castle now, although it's not actually standing anymore. Um, a fire in 1881 meant that everything of Kanazawa Castle was largely destroyed apart from two storehouses. And now uh, they're beginning a massive restoration project to, um, uh, to rebuild the castle. But obviously it's not rebuilt right now, it's going to take years and years. I imagine it's probably going to take decades, right, to rebuild oh, yeah, something like this. Yeah, the amount of time it takes them to build this sort of stuff. It's crazy. The gate that we're standing by is called the Ishikawa Mon Gate. Mon means gate, so it's kind of Ishikawa Gate. And it faces the garden, which is over in that direction. I'm nodding in my head because I've got a phone in my hand. <laughs> this is actually one of the only other things which survived the fire, the Ishikawa Mon Gate. Um, so uh, we'll go through this, we'll show you guys this, and then we'll go and see the grounds, uh, what, whatever's left of Kanazawa Castle so far it's pretty amazing but this is one of the things which was left standing so I guess it oh, I love these gates sort of go in and you always do like a 90 degree turn yeah, always to the right always to the right it is always to the right it's true <laughs> I'm hiding underneath a tree because sadly the sun is in exactly the wrong place for, for me to show you guys this. Um, it does actually look like they've done a significant amount of work. So the gates all the way, well, sort of not the gates, but the walls all the way around the outside seem to largely be done. There's a wall over to the left as well. It looks amazing. When they put this all together, this is going to be a phenomenal castle. Oh it's wow, we can go inside the gate. Oh, that's cool. So this is the Ninomon gate. Um, cool. All right, let's go. So this is how the walls are made, it's sort of a demonstration. Stones are packed in through the middle and they put the big blocks on the outside, right on the outside. Oh, so this is like the, the increase in technology. So that's sort of the older walls. And they got better at cutting stone and now extremely good at it. Oh, hey, it's us. So this is a Nino Mari section of the castle. Is it a gate? It's not really a gate, is it? It's a section. Well, that's a gate down there. That, yeah. Oh yeah, that is a gate down there. <laughs> you can actually go into this section. We're slightly too late. It's uh, It closes at 4.30, but you must enter before 4, so we missed it. Just. Um, but yeah, you can go in, inside and see it if you want to. Just get here earlier than we did. <laughs> been a while since I've seen you guys. Um, we hit a bit of a wall, uh, so we stopped in the Starbucks for a bit and um, had a bit of coffee to wake up. Looked at some shops for a bit, uh, around in the sort of Kanazawa main city centre area. And now we popped into a restaurant called, uh, I don't know if you can see that, The God Burger. <laughs> so um, this is a, seems to be a very, very, very good burger restaurant uh, down in, uh, on a street called Sasegidori, which is a small, like, boutique shopping street here in Kanazawa. Um, it, this place seems to be incredibly popular. It opened at 6 o'clock. Um, it is now 6.06 uh, .06 and the restaurant is already full where people are waiting outside. We actually came here because they have a vegetable burger on the menu. Vegetarians. Um, uh, so it's, there's a vegetable burger on the menu. Uh, it's not actually a vegetarian burger. It's not got like a vegetarian patty in it. It's uh, it's a, it's a got an egg in it and some cheese and avocado and a few other bits and pieces. 
um, and uh, the famous thing about it and this restaurant generally is uh, the bread for the bread bun I think they make the bread bun here and it's supposed to be really fantastic wow that is the vegetarian burger that is much more advanced than I thought you'd get <laughs> That's amazing. Fried egg and all the stuff. This is my avocado and egg burger. Um, it's got a few fries on it as well. When the guy came out and gave it to us, he told us we need to press it and then eat. And he told us to try it without ketchup or mustard first to get the original taste and then add it afterwards if we wish to. Oh, there's also pickles, Liam. Love pickles. Brilliant. Sorry, I forgot to do this. Oh. I didn't eat them. <laughs> In Japanese restaurants, you always get handhelds and you're supposed to use them before you eat, not afterwards. Oh, no, I suppose you probably could use them afterwards, but um, they usually use before you eat. So uh, you take all the germs off your hands, I guess, before you start eating, makes sense. Pretty good. Is it? Absolutely. Right. Delicious. Let's press and eat. I'm gonna get lipstick all over this. <laughs> Lovely. Lipstick everywhere. <laughs> It's delicious, sorry. That's a natural count. I'll just fix the lipstick off of it. Mmm, so good. Mm. We're back in the station area, tired. Not hungry anymore. Not hungry. <laughs> Um, we're going to pop into a department store here before us. It's not actually open for much longer because there's a couple of stores that I actually really thought would like quite like to go to. Number one, Muji. They sell my favourite tights in the whole universe. They are fleecy lined and wonderful. And number two that I've just seen and Liam's going to be really upset that I just spied that it was there. Plaza. Plaza. This is Plaza. It sells everything. Everything that you need. Plaza sells toys, sweets, clothing, and character goods. I love it for Snoopy stuff. They have loads of Snoopy stuff in there. Um, beauty, umbrellas, a whole load of stuff in this tiny, tiny little store. Oh yes, look at that. They have a cheer bear mug. Oh my god, they have a cheer bear mug. They have a cheer bear and a cheer bear mug. Oh my gosh, I can't buy mugs now. I can't carry them. Oh, I might need this. Am I gonna need to get a basket? I think I might need to get a basket. I think I might need to get a basket. Look at their Snoopy things, they're beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's a wireless charger. Oh my God, they're very cute. Look at that. Oh, I love it all. Photo album, oh, the pencil cases are beautiful. Clipboard for your fridge and stuff, oh, and love it. Snoopy post at night, it's unbelievable. Beautiful Disney stuff here as well. Look at this. Oh, that little mini purse is cute. Love that. That one down there as well. Unbelievable. Got this for my mom. She loves Eeyore and I am Pooh, so it's quite apt. I think she'll love it. And so here, look, you see some badges and hair ties, all Disney-fied. Awesome. Disney-fied is now an official word, by the way. I just made it up. They got some cool Japanese sort of beauty brands, I guess, as well. Um, one of the good things to look out for if you don't know what you're looking for is this Cosme ranking stickers that they have on some of them, uh, on some of the brands. So this is number one by, from ranking by Cosme, which I think is a magazine uh, for this thing, which I think is something to even out the pores on your nose. Anyway, I'm gonna try it. I'll translate the uh, instructions in Japanese on Google Translate, and then we'll know what to do. So I'll tell you how it goes. Ah, I found it, finally. The Muji. Right, let's go in and find tights. Well, I found socks. So hopefully, tights are around here somewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Looks like I missed it. Looks like they're out. I think they've crossed over into all their spring stuff and fleece line tights don't feature in their, in their uh, spring stuff. So, never mind. We are back at the hotel room. Uh, we just popped into Muji. Didn't see uh, any of the tights. I think I said that. Um, so we decided to come back to the hotel room a little bit early and just have an easy night because, as you guys can probably tell, it was a pretty crazy day. Uh, tomorrow we are leaving Kanazawa. We're going to have a look around in the, in the morning and then we're leaving to go to Matsumoto. We're staying there for a few days to do a few things around that area. Um, so I guess for now I'll say goodbye and I'll see you all back on the channel then. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. The most delicious fruit I have ever tried. Always remind me of Super Mario Brothers 2. The sherry and non sherry ones. Oh my god, I have. <laughs> Always require you 
to have a special ticket. To look at the giant toad god. The staircases seem to be steep by design. Wow, look at that. 